what's up guys uh, it's been a while since I made a video um, currently in the airport uh, heading to Milan I went to meet up with Vanessa after eight months of not seeing each other and you know, since we last video we got engaged if you haven't seen it go ahead and check it out link is in the description um, but yeah here at the airport at the gate about to start boarding and yeah uh, I'll catch you guys up later with everything that's happened in the last eight months and yeah so see you later what's up guys uh, today is June 4th uh, it's been almost four it's gonna be four weeks since I arrived and for those who saw the last video on the channel it was a proposal and you know, ended up with Vanessa leaving uh, to Milan or to Italy back home uh, for indefinite time and obviously we're still in a pandemic so it was just better for her to go home so since she left on that September 6th we, prepare, we began preparing for the wedding. When she arrived there, she was able to book a venue, the floor, the car, all in the month of September. You know, thank God everything went well. Uh, her parents helped a lot, as, as well as the Sicilian friends, Maria and Abramo. It was a great help to all of us. And yeah, so, September, October, November, December passed. Around January, I began preparing for the legal legal side of, of the whole wedding. I'm getting all my paperwork ready. Um, Italy has very strict uh, methods to get, for us to get married. Uh, so I needed to get a couple of declarations or affidavits signed and notarized. Uh, but that whole process was a nightmare, mainly with the translation of documents. I needed to get my birth certificate translated, um, but then it's really specify who had to do it and so on and so on. Uh, eventually, we had to get it in contact with the consulate in Colombia for them to officially translate it from Italian to Spanish. and send it to me obviously we're in a pandemic so I couldn't travel I had to rely on my aunt you know to help me and she helped a lot and we were just scared that we would not get the paper in time in order to before I left because I left on May 15th uh, forever and we decided to move here to Italy and um, yeah, I got the paper on the 12th. The next day, we had the appointment at the Italian consulate here in Miami, and well, there in Miami. And thank God, everything worked out well. Yeah, so now we'll get back to the video. Portugal. It's the first stop, but I'm in a rush because the flight late left late, and it's currently 6:17 a.m. Next flight leaves at seven, so I'm trying to get to the next gate. Sorry if I'm out of breath. It's a little far. Catch you guys. Later. So we made it to the next flight. Had to rush like crazy, run around. But thank God everything went well. Now we're just waiting for departure. It's be a two and a half hour flight to Milano. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys on the other side. Me. 
made it to Milan. Everything went well. So now we're going to customs. The last stop before anything. Hopefully, God willing, they let me in. Uh, catch you on the other side. How's it going, guys? We made it out of the airport. There's a waiting for my ride. And my sweet soon to be mother in law is picking me up. So I'm just waiting here outside. Everything went well. Um, no questions asked. They just let me through. And yeah, so catch you guys later. <laughs> Here visiting the Idroscalo of Milan. Francisco. <laughs> the Lake of Milan. La isla se llama eh, Idroscal. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to discover. Oh, it's a beautiful island. Plenty of uh, flowers. Pero aquí hay que decidir ese camino que como más para ver allá. Este en vez de hacer verde. What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I don't have my GoPro with me today, but I'm here with my beautiful fiance, my Your brother and future brother-in-law, and a brother from church, Delfer. We're here. We're making uh, the walk the rich walk through. We're walking through the middle of Milan. This is the center, the, uh, the financial center after Brexit. This and uh, Holland are going to be the center of the financial services for all Europe. Uh, we are near Gaiolenti, that is the third of this uh, financial center. That's all. De los estudios. Está cerca de las universidades. Where all the universities are. And we are near Piazza Gaulenti. It's over here, Piazza 